Hello, my friends on the internet. This is day 337 of me making an application to end doom scrolling and cure brain rot. This is an application on your phone, and today I'm going to show you the progress and tell you how it's been going and also how it works without blocking or deleting any apps. So without further ado, let's jump right in. If you're new here, I'm going to explain this very quickly. And if you're not new here, then you can skip this part of the video if you want. Basically, the app I'm making is called Curiosity Quench. It's linked down below. It's the only link down there. And the whole point of this app is to help you find better things to do than scroll on social media and in general, use your curiosity to find more interesting, passionate things that you are genuinely wanting to do. At that point, you scroll a thousand different things. That's the main purpose of this app, to give you options to see what you enjoy and to help you actually do these things. How do you do these things? Well, you have a list of things you enjoy or you think you're interested in doing, you're curious about them. And at that point, you pick one to swipe right and actually start doing it. We're going to give you a plan. By we, I mean it's a curated plan that I've made. And you can click on the step text and actually watch content, curated content for these steps to help you do it and figure out if this is something you want to continue doing, if it's just something you like, and really just have fun doing this, taking action and not scrolling on your phone, but actually taking action on a plan and doing it. And after you complete the plan, you can log progress and notes and quench it to get confetti. That is the app right now. What has been going on lately? Well, yesterday, 1,700 people downloaded the app. I'm pretty sure this is just a combination of basically my content on Instagram doing very well. That has been a major driver. I also paid for a reel last week, which kind of snowballed things a bit um, from an influencer with about 110,000 followers, and that got 350,000 views. So that helped a lot. But mostly yesterday, I think it was just my own content really doing well on my personal page and the app page on Instagram. So that is a huge thing. If you're looking to make an app um, and you're interested in that, then definitely Instagram organic content is pretty crazy. I didn't spend any money on ads. I still haven't. The only money I've spent to market the app has been the $500 last week and it was well worth it. Now, um, the whole goal of the app is to get people off of their phones or just to do things more that they enjoy. So it is kind of hard finding a page to actually sponsor and reach out to that aligns with this um, and their audience. Because most people, if they have an audience on a platform, are interested in, in consuming that content, not getting off the app. So it's counterintuitive. It's a bit hard there. But 1,700 people were on board with trying it yesterday. And it, although it wasn't a big day for trial starts or revenue, it was just a big day to see that this many people are interested in something that I am making, that I started almost a year ago now out of just my own need, my own urge to stop scrolling on my phone. Um, day 337. Wow, we're, we're on less than a month away from a year, a full year making these videos. So um, really, the progress I've been working on now is just going to be getting people to allow them to submit their own plans. Right now, it uses a Google form and it's really hard to keep up with the Google form submissions and people obviously don't do it as often if they have to leave the app. So that is a big thing. And then I want to get even a social tab on this, not like social media wave endless feed, more of a social tab of, Hey, I did this plan. Here's my thoughts. And you can share those type of things, but it's not going to be addictive. It's going to be very low stimulating. And I want to keep it. I want to keep it kind of away from that, but just a, a tiny bit of extra things so people can be interested in topics deeply and not just consume brain rotting content. The whole purpose of this app is not to consume brain rot, is to do things you actually enjoy and connect with people eventually on those things in a deep level. So that's the progress of the app. That's how it's been going. That's how it works. And really, I'm just going to keep going. That is the answer 99% of the time. Four weeks ago, sorry, no, two weeks ago, I was feeling very down on my luck, I was feeling that nothing is working. I had some really slow days where like 80 people downloaded the app compared to like 400 every day the month before. And I was just feeling terrible, honestly. But you know what I did? I kept going. I worked on the app. I made more content for the app. I did some research into why maybe my content wasn't performing very well. I realized that the content wasn't very good or entertaining to watch at all. I made better content. I made the app better. And here we are. I also took a risk. I paid some money that I, I didn't have a million dollars, but I paid $500 and it worked out. I took a little risk and I just kept going. That has always been the answer, it seems. So I wanted to share that today. That is all I have for you today. 
You don't have to watch my video tomorrow. You really don't. If you see this video, please use it as a reminder to share with your friends, share with your family the message to keep going and that there's better things to do than scrolling on your phone. So whatever you want to do with your life, go do it. I love you. Take care, my friend. If you don't know what that is yet, then try some stuff. But you can't really try stuff when you're scrolling on your phone. So yeah, you're not the problem. You are a reality to be experienced. That's a quote from, I forget where. I'm just going to say my friend Josh told me about it. Anyways, I love you. Take care, my friend. Bye-bye.